Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at the Arduino interface and specifically two tools that are make it a lot of fun to debug as well as to inspect your program. Um, and this is the serial terminal and the serial plotter, uh, two very basic functions. So here we have our code that we're going to start with. We have a setup function, serial begin, and we're going to set this up for 57.6 kilobaud. Um, then when we get into our loop, we have a value i that counts up to 100. It'll never quite get to 100 um, and prints out its value and then waits a millisecond in between each print. And then it counts back down and waits a millisecond between each print. So this should generate a kind of a sawtooth wave if we were to graph it. So let's see our most basic function. So here, if I go ahead and I upload this code, once it completes, Let's see, it's done. I can go ahead and I can open the serial monitor and that's either through this little button here or by selecting it here. And here we can see the code. Um, this is currently an auto scroll. So if I stop it and I scroll up and down, you can see that it's definitely moving in the background, but here's our count down and then it cycles around and counts back up. And so this is one way to see the information, but it doesn't really give us a sense for how the information is changing over time. We could copy and paste this into a spreadsheet tool maybe and graph it or into a, a mathematical tool like MATLAB, but there's a real simple way to see it plotted live uh, using the Arduino tool. So to do that, we have to close the serial monitor and instead open our program and view it using the serial plotter. Here's the serial plotter data. And what we can see uh, is that we have a lot of data coming out and it's continuing to just go, go, go we don't really have a way to pause this data using this tool. But we can see that we're getting numbers between about a zero and a hundred. And the number across the bottom is the sample number since the program start. So it's continuing, okay? So this kind of gives us a little more of a sense about what that data looks like uh, if we're trying to use it to investigate information. So let's go ahead and let's see about adding a second um, waveform. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a couple lines here. And what we have to do is after our first number we want printed, we have to add a comma. So we're going to just add the character comma next. All right. Then what we have to do is for our last, our new value, let's pick something. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add 25 to it. All right, and then the last thing is the serial plotter looks at new lines as new data lines. So we're gonna strip out the LN so that we only have a single new line character at the end of this entire data piece. And we'll go ahead and look at that in the serial monitor Oops, to see what that looks like. So now that we have this in place, let's go ahead and download it. And looks good. So if you open up that serial monitor, here's what we're seeing coming out. So basically, if I stop this scrolling, you'll see the two numbers separated by a comma, and the new line goes to the next data line. So this is the format that you need for using the serial plotter. So let's look at what that data looks like. So here you can see that there are two plots. Um, it tried to give them names, but it didn't really know what to call them. So we'll go ahead and take a few seconds to actually output that information in just a moment. But there you can see that the red line has peaks around the 125, and you'll notice that it actually auto-scaled a little bit to show those on the screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a legend. So to add a legend, it looks for the very first output and uses that to set up the legend. Um, I'm also going to put a short delay before it actually outputs the legend because what I've seen is that occasionally the system will um, have a little hiccup and will add a corrupted character or two to the beginning. So we're going to give it a full half second before it starts to print out the legend. Oops. And we're going to label these things as I and I plus 25. And those should be our two rows. So let's see what this looks like. All 
All right, and look at our plotter. And so we again, we still have that glitch character, um, but we, you can see that we are adding in our origins here, or excuse me, our legend, so we know which line is which. So that's a real basic review of kind of the serial plotter as, where, as well as the serial monitor. Uh, hopefully it's helpful for you to know a little more about this tool in case it's helpful for you to debug or to examine a circuit or code that you're working on. Thanks.